do you, you know, like because everything doesn't matter doesn't mean you have to kill yourself or drop all morality, you know, like do what you feel is right. Even though if it doesn't matter, like to the rest of fucking, like if you're not going to fucking make a dent in the fucking universe or the world or society or whatever the fuck you think is important, you're making a dent, you're affecting what's around you, whatever the fuck it is. Podcasts and stuff we just started. What up? That's it. Who am I here with today? I'm Sarah. Sarah D. Mm. Who is Sarah D? Uh, I've lived in San Antonio most of my life. I'm a bartender and I'm your Facebook homie. <laughs> mm. Facebook homies. <laughs> That's what's up. Um. Damn, you all want with all the simple answer and shit. So then I'll just go to, to what we were talking about before. Yeah, let's get into um, the nitty gritty. Yeah, no. So I ended up adding you on Facebook, right? But it was because I saw this article, I want to say maybe like two years ago. It's probably like The Current or something. And they were taking like a poll of like, I think everybody was listing three bands or some shit, you know? And oh. I think you were in there. So I think at that time, I still gave a shit about like trying to do stuff here in terms of like, you know, music. So I was like, uh-huh. okay, let me just add everyone on this list. Oh. And I think- because okay. maybe you're like a local influencer or someone who matters, you know, like someone. I yeah, no, I definitely know a lot of bands and support a lot of local bands. So, but like some of those people were like, uh, you know, bigger DJs here, like DJ Iris or 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 just bookers around here. Like, and then like I've I've, I've talked with you on the Facebook a lot, and you talking about like you want to do music and stuff. But yeah, like, what was your musical involvement? For this, for here, for the I city, mean, that that you end up being in like those circles and stuff. <laughs> like, I I'm a bartender, and like I ended up being a band aid. I guess I fucking dated a lot of guys uh, in bands. I had a lot of friends in bands. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just was in like deep in the music scene, whether or not I liked it. <laughs> so that's that's, and I knew all those people that <clears throat> when they started out and. Still kind of know most of them today. Mm. Now that you're back here. Oh, yeah. I moved back. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. But now that you're back here, um, what's the goal now? <laughs> the goal now, I guess, is I don't know. Because it's like San Antonio part two. And I feel like a lot of times when we travel, we get like a little different perspective, you know? Yeah. Um. So uh, is this to maybe go out again? Or is it like, all right, no, I'm going to make shit work out here? Well, I will say as and art, the culinary industry here is blowing up. And that's definitely something that's like making people famous here. Um, who who so, we got? Because I don't know nothing about that. Well, the first. OK, well, H-E-B is Texas. But the first H-E-B to open like a bar and restaurant um, mm. is. Oh, God, I can't even remember names right now, but I, I'm. An old time acquaintance, <clears throat> the first person that opened that. Um, like Mariah, the one that used to own Limelight. She's doing all the stuff for a. Uh, Hotel Emma now, which is like, you know, nationally renowned. I think they had a write up like in the New York or something. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, the culinary scene and the and the bar scene as far as like mixology is blowing up here. So, I mean, I needed a break from insurance. <laughs> so that I started bartending again. But as far as like performing and stuff like that, um, comedy is actually getting pretty great. And people keep telling me to do stand up. All of my very close friends like the people that I'm very good friends with that are in the scene are comedians now. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's the one thing I've kind of been leaning towards just because I don't know, I guess. Oops. It's all good. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot to silence my cell phone. Um, people uh, always just tell me, like, I guess uh, I got to be a little bit more deeper into my bottle of tequila, but <laughs> they <laughs> always tell me, oh, you're fucking funny. You had a bunch of one liners there. Uh, you, do you do comedy? You should do comedy. Um, like, okay, this was terrible. But like, I went back to visit New Mexico and there's this uh, winery. After you moved already? After yeah, moved I, well, I went there? to go get the rest of my shit. Okay. <laughs> and uh, there's this winery, winery, uh, winery I went to, sorry, <laughs> uh, with uh, my little cousin's like acting troupe and uh, 
And actually, the actress is uh, her name is Constance Cosmopolis. She has a really weird last name, but she's in some movies on Netflix. So she's actually an actress that's making it, uh, I guess, in New Mexico. But I was sitting with them and they were just laughing and laughing at me. And I was just talking shit. And then I they wouldn't sell us another bottle of wine because they were closing down. Right. My uncle's like, OK, go to the bar and see if you can get us a bottle of wine. I was like, all right. And the bartender was like, well, I can sell you one to go. And I was like, going to get this bottle of cab, but I couldn't pop a bottle of cab open without a bar key, right? Yeah. So I was like, okay, but I don't want the cab anymore. I want this stuff called Imperial Kerr, which is like a a bubbly. So I could pop that right at the table. Yeah. So I took it back to the table. We got it like for half the price and I popped it and I'm pouring it for these ladies. And um, <clears throat> this girl goes, do you know what Kerr is in Farsi? And I was like, no. And she was like, well... It's what guys have, not ladies. And like, just, I didn't even know what the fuck I was thinking, but I was like, oh, well, don't worry. It doesn't taste like that. <laughs> and they were just fucking died. And like, I don't know. I just talk a lot of shit. So <clears throat> maybe that's something I'll start doing. You should. I mean, just try it and find out. I wouldn't say like my current form, but I, I always, uh, I used to maybe like five-ish years ago be interested in it just because of, uh, I love the idea of uh, just these long monologues and stuff right. like certain long mon- and then sometimes you can improv depending like how it's going, you know. Uh, some improv more than others because uh, you know it can be crazy. Like, hey, you gonna talk here for a certain long of time and you don't even know what the fuck you're gonna say, you know. <laughs> but some people can do that, and I've always been attracted to improv. Like my group, um, outside of the very beginning, like yo, we never practice and we never. No one knew what the set list was. I only knew what it was the day before. And, and I always used to say, like, well, that 85% of our shows are really good. And the 15% were, like, you know, human error because we suck. The ones that really suck. Hey, <laughs> Cause, cause not, actually, not because we suck, but, I mean, like, shit happens, you know. And You sometimes- posted something. that You had a song on a video game, and you posted it. It was, like, a RPG game for a phone, like an app or something, right? No, I know a friend has had stuff like that. I don't think I have. And I if I have, man, I had, I'm like, losing brief- royalties right now. I'm or maybe listening. I posted it for your friend. I thought it was you. I guess I didn't read the posts all the way. I'm kind of yeah, yeah, not yeah. always on Facebook 100%. I'm doing like something else usually, but. For sure. I mean, I dug it. I thought that was you. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. It depends what we're talking about. Like, I don't, I don't know. But I haven't had any of my stuff in. I haven't had any of my stuff in uh, stuff that's giving me money. And you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm not saying yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it gave you money or not. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had anything in a game. I think officially my my name is uh credited uh, as doing some like trailer for some indie movie in uh UK. That's cool. But like I don't even care about saying it here. Like, but I didn't want to do it. Like uh because Why not? I hate like the rules and I hate like it's not that's not what I like doing. You gotta um, play the game to fucking yeah, get right. out there. But man. I mean, but that's why I think I probably want to get my money from somewhere else because I think I just like doing whatever the fuck I want to do and Damn straight. Because, like, what I what I see from a lot of other people, like, I was talking to you about wanting to go to L.A. and stuff. Yeah. Um, almost everybody I know is in the industry somewhere. If They're not the guy, but they're in there, you know. And they're like, the guy that knows the guy. I don't even know if that, but they're in. Like, their, their income comes from being like that. They don't like, oh, man, let me uh, go bartend so I can uh, do this for fun, you know, act for fun. Like, no, like, whatever it is they're doing, like, that's their job, you know. Um. But like my friend, when I got, I met him here at UTSA, he ended up going to Ohio and then LA. But at that point, you know, like he kind of still had the creative urges. Yeah. Now he does like Foley and sound design. He does fucking doors opening and closing and shit, which is cool. It pays the bills, right? But the man has like zero interest in making music. Or if he does, he just doesn't have time because he joined the real world. He got a girlfriend. So you're you know? not into that. Um. No, because I'm always afraid, like, man, if I do that shit, like, for real, real, and start doing that, then I'm never going to do the things I actually wanted to do with music in the first, like, why I even got into all this. Not to be punny, but you don't think that'll, like, open some doors for you if you just start it doing can, <laughs> It can, it can, but, like, everybody I've seen, like, my teacher I just mentioned, he lives here, he was, he started out as a drummer, he's won a Grammy and everything, he's always talking about, like, like him to make music, never makes it because he never has time because he's always working on someone else's shit, you know? Oh, Yeah. And well, you know what? It pays all the bills, to I be fair. I fucking hate but. country music, but I mean, there's a great example of Tracy Musgraves, right? Do you know who that is? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, something about, she wrote some country. I don't listen to country. My mom yeah, 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 loves yeah. that shit. 
um, like about smoking a joint or something on her break, like waitressing, like it's her one of her favorite songs, but or famous songs. But she wrote for a lot of very famous, like Miranda Lambert and like very famous country singers for a long time, and now she's like very famous. From doing that. Yeah, but she's writing the song. She's doing the thing. She's just doing it from the shadow world. Essentially, that's what I did for the trailer. I had my friend do it because I know he he always wants to do stuff. And unlike him, unlike, yeah, I at least network and go out there, which is why I have that thing in the first place. Mm-hmm. But I know, like, he's always like, man, I'll just do stuff. I just want to do stuff. But he doesn't ever, like, do the, any other boring part, like talking and all the other things are going out. So I was like, well, hey, I was going to tell this guy I don't even want to do it no more. But... If you want, we could just submit it under my name or whatever, you know, and no one got paid. So it ain't like, ha. Ah, well, you it's know? not about <laughs> getting paid at first. Yeah, yeah. It's about getting exposure. But uh, it's there. Like the trailer looks real cool and stuff. It's but like any any art. Like, okay, let's say you're a painter. But it's, it's trailer <clears throat> music and it's like. You got to build your portfolio. You've got to come to people and be like, hey, I want to do this. All this is realistic, but I, I don't always play in the real world in my mind, which is probably why I don't have the success. <laughs> like, you got to play in both worlds. Yeah, yeah. Because really, when you think about it from like a fucking philosophical standpoint, neither of the worlds are the real world. So why don't you just play the game your way? Which is why I keep just doing my shit. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> why I keep just like, I mean, I had a fucking great job selling insurance. I fucking made close to six figures. Not quite, but... I wasn't into it, man. I mean, I was super fucking good at it. Like, I could sell ice to an Eskimo, but that's not what I wanted to do. So I'm back here bartending because this is where, I mean, as much as you dog on San Antonio's music scene and the culture and shit here. I don't hate it no more. This year, this is the first year I don't hate San Antonio, but it's also because I removed myself from all those things. But you know so, what is like, so like, sad like, that I will agree with you? The <laughs> fucking Corova closed because I was so excited about the punk scene blowing back up and then fucking they closed down. Someone, I think on Facebook posted, it might turn into a dance club or something. Oh my God, I'll fucking die. (laughs) Because like, dude, we had the fucking, dude, we had bad, not bad English, uh, fucking, God damn it. (laughs) I can't even remember. We had a really famous um, punk band come. I guess I get, I didn't know I had stage fright. (laughs) I guess I do. But we had a really awesome, uh, bad business. This is training for your comedy. This is training for your comedy. God damn, right? I need to fucking practice this shit more. The business (laughs) fucking came. They're from the UK. Fucking, you know, like, I mean, we've had like in the past two years, a shit ton. DRI came a bunch of times. They just came and they had to move it. Well, I've been talking to people about this. Like as a consumer, if you live here, yeah, the last two years have been, uh, pretty nice because like more people they've things that people that would never come here have started coming here in the Empire last two bought years the Aztec, that's why but uh, a yeah. lot of it well it was live nation it, live nation is it oh yeah live nation yeah, not yeah, Empire. Yeah. um yeah live nation my friend nancy uh worked for live nation for a long time i always get confused about that shit yeah and then um the other people gonna, the the c3 you do what you gotta do i man. gotta help my memory a little bit <laughs> <laughs> the the c3 the former c3 people Whatever. Walker. Uh, Marjorie Walker. That's their name. Yeah. Then they got a uh, paper tiger and maybe oh. other things in the future, you know, I believe they got paper tiger. They got something around here. Hmm. They do. But yeah, like those people coming in here, all those national or, or Austin people coming in here. I've, I've led people to come here. So we'll forward it out. Corover. They'll still keep coming. Um, I do remember a lot of the local people who did play Corover. I didn't play them. Uh they always hated the sound system in there. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. Like, I know Bad Religion played there one time, and then the next time they came, they played at the Aztec. Yeah. So, um, there you go. <clears throat> but yeah, like, I was so stoked. And like, hopefully Angel keeps booking, man, because, I mean, I guess that's how I know most of the people, is that I know the people who run behind the scenes, like the people who do the sound and the people who, you know, book the bands and shit like that. And I mean, because, I mean, we all grew up in the industry we all grew up bartending and then i mean the natural progression is to you know move up in your job and if you work at a place that has live music i mean that's what you do hmm. i was trying not to burp into the microphone <laughs> so so when, when you gonna when you gonna start doing a five minute stand-up comedy routines uh maybe i'll do it next week i'll start writing a routine Damn, tonight. i was like mad quick <laughs> you're like next week i'm very spontaneous is that is that weekly this, yeah, uh, well, they stuff. do um, at this place called Oak Hills Tavern. I'm sure you're familiar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do. My friend Abby runs an open mic there. Um, and uh, I before that was my friend Brian. And I went to high school with both of them, like before they were 
when they were knee high to a duck. <laughs> mm. So uh, Texas came I, out of you right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I figure they'll let me do stand up, and I, I'm not scared of bombing. Like I'm. This is the first podcast I've ever done, but <laughs> I'm not fucking scared to sound stupid. I'll look stupid, and then maybe I'll look good eventually. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. then once you can get over like the nervousness thing, then maybe you'll do. Uh, you'll be whatever you said. All those examples of other people seeing in you, then you'll be that more naturally or more easier. I think I just you know need to get a couple more shots of tequila in me next time before I fucking start the is that fucking it? podcast. Is that the fuel? Is that the fuel? Dude, for you? yeah. Well, it's because I. I mean, I have. I used to have crippling anxiety and I used to take a lot of medication for it. And one day I was just fucking sick of it. And I took me a month to detox off of all the fucking shit they had me on, but I didn't have no seizures or nothing. And like after that, you know, I just deal with it now. You know, uh, do you know, uh, probably not, but, or maybe uh, my friend, Danny Cerno, you ever heard of him? Uh, Maybe I I, say no faces. All right. Well, he just did the podcast recently. I just, I just put it out maybe yesterday or something but i guess he told me before and after he's like he don't even want to look or see any of the videos he won't even comment any on it when i tag on it because it gets inside <laughs> your head like i probably won't even fucking watch this i'll maybe listen to it but i'm yeah. like i'm gonna be like god i look like a fucking like I said, whale these, the video, my head looks so small like, the video <laughs> is just because like you maybe not you or maybe you like like, but a lot of people wouldn't even know the show exists without that. Even though no one watches the videos, like the the audio gets way more numbers. Not that I have a lot. The audio gets way more plays than any of the videos do. But the videos paint a picture to people who have no idea what the hell's going on in the first place. You know. I mean, it's cool too because <laughs> it's like I mean, you know, like these are local people and you're just seeing what's going on, like you did on Facebook. But it's just like it's more accessible and like you don't have to directly contact these people or like ask for their friendship on facebook yeah. and just As listen to the going, shit like you know? i'm pretty sure it'll enable me to uh probably get better people and stuff because now i'll be like oh shit he's better done, than like, me <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i mean like famous you. people or something yeah no famous absolutely because i didn't want to start there yet because um i've seen people start with it um there and they get hits but now you're only getting it because you have the famous person you know there's yeah. no there's no <clears> true... there's no fan base yeah yeah so i was like let me start this and a lot of the people that who listen to a lot of like like shout out to Josh because he has like everyone. But I mean, <laughs> like, hi Josh. But like, yeah, yeah. See, uh, but yeah, they're they're my friends, so they hear it. But like, they're not. But they actually hear it. Like, they're not just hearing it because of me. Now, now they're they're like going through a, all of them. It's not just like let me just hear one. And I'm sure that you help people make connections that they normally wouldn't have had otherwise as well. It's not like just you promoting yourself. I don't know on this podcast, but on on my in life, yes. I yeah, well, yeah. I mean, even <laughs> from the podcast, they're like, oh, Abraham knows like this person. I can get in contact with this person now because of that. Or I didn't know about this person until I saw that. If it hasn't that. happened yet, it will. It will. <laughs> I'm sure it's happened at least once. It will. And I have not even used any of my Austin connections yet just because I don't want to. Oh, you're that. saving them up, right? Yeah, I'm, them in your back I'm saving it more <laughs> For one, money's better. Because <laughs> like, I used to, I used to be that dude who drove there like uh, every Friday when I did have a Monday through Friday job. I'm not even shitting you. I used to drive there every Friday even, and I would come back s- Sunday. Evening. <laughs> hey man, that's badass. That's because, cool. Because like, and then because like the person who was living there at the time, I really clicked with him, and like I was, I just always had a good time in that city, um, both musically and just hanging out Italy. You know, like, yeah. And I just never found that like here. Um, but so, yeah, I got a whole roster of people like that. I actually know, let alone like, people I can reach out to. Who I just don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, so, yeah, it's coming one day. It's coming. Fuck yeah. So what are you doing? I'm going to interview you now. <laughs> what are you Some doing now for the paper, for the paper chase? Um, Nothing. I guess officially I signed up for Uber this week. To nice. Try. I signed up. They haven't said shit. They might. See, like, I ain't put her. He's like, oh, man. Don't they don't give can. a shit about that. <laughs> I, I lied about my car on there. They keep messaging me like, we'll give you $50 for your first ride. I'm like, bitch, you can't. And my car doesn't even qualify. Like, stop <laughs> emailing me. But I figured, like, I'll, uh, I'll just try it. And, like, if it's good, I'll do it for more and more. If not, I'll do it to the bonus then, you know, because I did a referral. Mm-hmm. That way I at least get some extra thing that I, I wouldn't. But I figured I'll try it because if it'd be nice if I can make it uh, work on certain hours. There's a person you may or may not know i don't know her last name i'm 
something? She's in Austin, but she used to book Spider House back in the day. But I don't know who used to book it, but I used to go up there. But yeah, her ride, uh, I think like that's been her primary income for years. I think she complains more now um, because, you know, ride share is not as profitable as it once was. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm more looking to like to at least just calm some balances because I feel like in the next few months, I will be forced to like, make a real decision um, whether it is finally go to L.A. or been gambling with the idea of going to Japan. Um, not even because I uh, want to. People always to, but- tell me to go to Japan because my kids, <laughs> they're like, go to Japan and make money. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what are you going to do? What, so what are you doing for, with your tits in Japan? <laughs> oh, no, taking weird pictures with fucking Japanese girls with blonde hair and big tits, I guess. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I guess. But you just be a bartender there. <laughs> no, man, not even like fucking. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, but they have like this like style in Japan where like the girls dye their hair blonde and they get breast implants and like try I know this stuff I've done so much uh, you know culture diving over there and like pop culture diving I've never heard of this one somebody <laughs> told me about it I guess it's maybe just like in porn or something or like fucking that might be it that might be it. that might <laughs> be why that's I haven't what heard of it getting at <laughs> that's no I mean that's why I haven't heard of it um, what's their name is it AV 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 I feel like AV even though that usually means audio visual for us mm-hmm um, I feel like there's a style of porn called AV, or like that just might be a category. Okay, what it describe that to me? Um, I can't because I think sometimes like when you just see porn, it, they, all the Japanese ones just be called AV, and I'm like, it just looks like normal porn to me. But like those are like keyword, just like hentai is a keyword for hentai, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you like know? the only <laughs> porn that I watch. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like porn. It, like I either get uncomfortable or I start laughing, and so it's like it doesn't serve a purpose for me. Why? Uh, why hence There's like <clears throat> tentacles and all kinds of shit. Yeah, no, that's super uncomfortable. It does not serve yeah, why, its why? purpose. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, why would you want to watch that? Or you're saying you don't watch? I don't. That, I don't but. watch porn. I, hentai, I watch, but I don't. No, watch that's what I'm saying. Why, oh, okay. <laughs> to me, all of it is tentacles. Well, well or well. just anime. Like, why would anyone want to that, watch that? Isn't that China, not Japan, that no, has the tentacles because they Japan. can't show dicks? It's Japan. But they'll just blur it, but it's Japan. Hmm. I wonder if the tentacles came because of that. Yeah, because I thought, like, like you know how Lady Gaga is fucking, like, banned in China because she's, like, a, like... That I know. Subversa. Yeah, the, she cannot, like, she's banned. She can People who there. wear dresses of meat. Not cool. No, not I culture. mean, like she, like they, they think of her as like because she met with the Dalai Lama. That's why they did it. Oh, well, you can't be doing that shit. Uh, you can't be doing that. Okay, <laughs> you, she, you gotta know she, better. You know. <laughs> I mean, she should have known better than to fucking do that documentary, dude. But whatever. The Netflix one. I only saw half of it, yo. I could barely watch like twenty minutes. Yeah, that's one. Like, like I can't. I couldn't. I already knew she was weird, and I was just. It like, painted a picture of her that's just not like. Like uh, good, like so. Who knows? I was like, well, maybe at the end, <laughs> like, like it gets better. But I just, uh, I, I didn't want to. Exactly, yeah. Like it just seems like, and you, you know, like we as normal people probably do. Like, man, if I had their money or for whatever, like my life be. I'm not saying you, but like general <laughs> no, consensus. Like, I got bad money and I've lost it. And I, like, no, but I like a lot a of people, like, man, if I had that, I'd never fuck up like you. You know, blah blah blah. Um, that ain't true. And yeah, we're, we're for her, anybody. It just. uh I don't know. I feel like I feel like I, you know, um, it's, it's grass is greener. But I'm like, yo, man, people make the mistake giving me money, like, never see me again, and never see me, like, like noted. I'm that's how you get rid of me. Like here's a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, but I mean, like, just because, like, like for me, like there isn't a lot I want. I just like everything I want. I so you I just want to make music, dude? You want to make? I just want to make. I just like music. making shit. Or just content. I just like making content. That's it. Have you ever considered vlogging? V vlogging. I'm always late to the game for everything. If I I needed to vlog six, seven, eight years ago or nine years ago when you no nah, now you just get out of like you fucking, can still like, do it, but I mean ghosts like yeah. prank people or like fucking I don't know have freaks weird people just gotta get people's attention. I hate I hate all that. F- I I think, <laughs> but I hate it. Yeah, I, I, I've. I've Always gravitated towards audio and maybe it's like, you know, as you get older, you don't want to learn new stuff or something. Because the only reason I added video um, is because, yeah, like the culture shifted to that in which like um, video is still important and stuff. But like I liked podcasting and especially when podcasting first started, you didn't need the video component. But like and you still kind of don't once people are in there. But I mean, Mm -hmm. again, like it helps. Like I remember I was watching an episode of Joe Rogan podcast Mm -hmm. and. 
normally it has video, but he did one in the woods because you know he likes to go hunting or just yeah. Go you should like go like, like on location. Like we should be in the fucking woods right now. What I've are we done, doing in my uh, room? Yeah, and it'd be super dark and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be cool. We could like turn on my fucking EVP like reader. And, I've like... done stuff in like I, I just like I just like to make sure stuff is uh controlled environment and stuff because I just hate having all Maybe this gear. That that <laughs> like, I feel like. That maybe is your fatal flaw that you are trying to just control probably everything and probably. you just need to fucking wing it, man. Just fucking balls to the wall, just do everything, anything, just let go of that fucking control, man. And once you do that, once you just give up and just do what the fuck ever, like if somebody wants you to make a fucking sound clip of opening doors, make the best one. And then like Maybe it's like the funniest opening door sound that anybody's ever made and everybody fucking uses it on like fucking their movies for like 50 years after you're dead. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, and- last last year I went traveling around America for like two months. I only meant to do two weeks, but like I left everything. Hey, that's great. And like, yeah. And, and like everything that I thought I needed, you know, like I didn't need it, which is what made it easier for me to sell. I didn't, I still haven't sold everything, but I sold a lot of the stuff that I knew would be easy to sell like really quick. And that helped me stay afloat for a minute. Um, cause it's like, dude, all I need is like this, like this, cause I use this, I create shit with this. Yeah, but it's like, I don't what need, do you use? Yeah, my, all my game systems. I don't need like all this, whatever the fuck, you know? Right on. Um, yeah, I had to learn that the hard way, cause uh, this guy who I will not mention names, I dated. Uh, he they work for an oil company. Damn, they. That's fucked. Him up. and his friend that's and his friend. <laughs> like, okay, and he's a climber, and his friend got stuck in Abu Dhabi, right? Mm. Because like something with like flight bans or what the fuck ever. For like two months and he came back they share crash pads right because they're bold they boulder or whatever yeah yeah and um motherfucker brought back fucking bed bugs oh like from fucking the middle east <laughs> yeah. gave them to this here? dude no dude, be- this is years <laughs> ago <laughs> anyway point of the story being that i fucking had to get rid of everything Damn. throw everything away i didn't even make money off that shit i just had to fucking throw it away i couldn't even give it to someone because i felt bad so for me that was that experience for me just letting fucking go of everything and now it's just like fuck it i don't need it when i moved back my mom and dad were like we'll get you a truck blah 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 to get all your shit and i'm like you okay. know what just let me get my artwork and my books and like fucking you guys can keep the furniture you have like a seven bedroom house like with nothing in it <laughs> there's, there's, there's people i uh there's a few people i follow in la um who do you know content i like and i guess they had to re they had to evacuate and they oh because of the wildfires yeah so that they sucks. posted like well we're just grabbing some things we care about and we're leaving and then you know they post what would you grab like if you only had 10 minutes and you can only fit stuff in your car and that's it you know <laughs> Uh, my tarot deck, <laughs> Santa Muerte. Uh, let's see who else would get pissed if I didn't grab them. <laughs> like, uh, probably just some family photos, I guess, and uh, my teddy bear out there <laughs> from when I was little. That's it. Damn, young te- why the why the teddy bear? That teddy bear has some fucking eyes, man. Like every time, I, <laughs> like I will get all. I have like all these like like toys. Like Invader Zim is fucking like he's old as fuck, but it's like it's a you know classic toy. I've got a Pee Wee Herman doll with a drawstring. Mm-hmm. I've got like all kinds of like I have Spice Girls Barbies, like mm, <laughs> just crap, your life. like stuff you know that is like novelty. Um, and I'll just grab all that shit when like a little kid, like a baby or something, comes over and like put it down on like a blanket, and I'll put that teddy there, and they will ignore all of like crazy cool shit that I put there, and they will pick up that teddy bear, like even if they're crying and shit. But it's something about it, like especially ever since I was little, I feel like I don't know, it's just like gives a sense of comfort it's, but it has these very realistic eyes mm. and it but it's not like creepy realistic it's like comforting like it makes it not like the other doll. it almost anthropomorphizes that it other doll you try no to not bring. that's <laughs> jill <laughs> jill <laughs> was my uh, uh, she was she was the one that did all the bad shit when i was little not me <laughs> oh, okay okay <laughs> That's like, why she's no Joe. longer alive. That's why she. Yeah, that's why she's <laughs> sitting in a closet. Oh man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, I just keep that to freak people out. <sighs> but it yeah. worked. It worked. <laughs> I I used to have a bunch of porcelain dolls, but I uh got, I got married at eighteen to a marine, and he was a fucking asshole. Uh, at least then, I don't. I mean, 
wherever he is now, I don't, I'm glad I don't know. But <laughs> uh, when we got divorced, he took, and these were porcelain dolls. Some of them were just creepy and like I got for presents and like they were like what, from like Cracker Barrel or some shit. And some of them were like old, like fucking ones from like Germany and France from like the 1900s, like worth money shit. He took all that shit out and fucking shot it with an M16 mm. on fucking base. It's like, are you... Is that even okay? Like, are you even allowed? To, is that even safe? Like, That's but crazy. anyways, so I mean, but yeah, I, I used to keep them because it creeped people out. It was uh, like I had them all displayed, I guess. I didn't keep them because of creep people out. I prominently displayed them because people would literally lose their shit. When they saw all the dolls, they'd be like, why do you have that? Cover that up. We need to go in your room. Like, <laughs> fucking, they're staring at me, and I'm just like, oh, you guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, and I guess, you know, it didn't work out, so I don't know, but you want to go there, but like, what, what, what makes the person like, like, get married like at 18 and stuff? Cause I guess I was on, I was on the opposite spectrum, cause I think more like I was probably too shy, so like, probably missed out on a lot of the girls that I really liked when I was younger. But I think when I was younger, I really wanted the one. But now I've kind of shifted more to like, uh, I almost feel sad because I feel like I don't even, I don't know if I don't want that anymore, but it's not even like a thing I even think about or waste any time on. It's more like I kind of want to be whatever this thing I keep saying I want to be is. You want to be your ideal self. Yeah, yeah. And I want to have this foundation. I don't want to worry about like, you know, shit like money or or my job or what the fuck I'm doing, you know. Not that I want to be there, but I at least want to be on that path already. So you do worry about that stuff, even though. You yeah, but I think to. I don't show it, and, and I probably don't waste enough time thinking about it yet. Because I think the time, I know, if I if I, I think about it, I'm probably gonna act on it. Well, when from conversations with it. you outside of this cast, you're very all, always very much concerned about it. Oh, because those are the only things that interest me. I like like I, I if I hate going out and like it's just like, always people getting fucked up, and I'm like, man, none of us, no one's doing shit right now. Like we could be doing shit, even like with I mean, people they're I'm cool doing with. shit. They're just also getting fucked up. Like I'm doing this podcast with you, and no, I'll I get that, but I mean, like when when I'm doing that with like my same people who are the music people or are the other creatives who I know do shit, and I'm like, and I see the few examples who I know who have made it personally or. If even worse, the ones who are really making it, who I don't know, you know, they're just people I see on the media. For example, which ones? Famous people or, that or you, the ones that are making it that you don't know? Oh, then here. I can just pick anything, like Michael Jordan or or shit like that. You oh. know what I mean? But I, I mean, thought you were talking locally. Oh, um, local. All right, so that guy I told you I met twice. I don't know. We weren't friends though. Richie Branson, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, he ended up having. Oh, he does have a wife and a kid, so I guess he took some time. But I just. You know, you see the words and you only see grass is greener, right? So you only see certain things. I'm like, man, like I have to always be doing the thing. I have to always be working until I at least get there. Then maybe you can slow down. You know what I mean? You know, the and grass it just appears is not greener on the other side. It's just a fucking, I know it's not, but it's we the think lighting, it is. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just the angles, fucking right? angles, the angles, the lighting. <laughs> it's the fucking height of your fence. That's it. That it, it is not greener on the other side. You got to fucking fertilize your own grass. Mm. Fucking take care of that shit and make your grass green. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like you were dropping what we call um, we call bars. Do you know what that means? Um, Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know what a version of that means, no, but I no. stopped all we, that. <laughs> you, were, we, you, were, you were dropping jewels, like, I guess. You know what that oh, means? Oh, yeah, I know. That. Okay, okay. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank um, you. Um, in the chat, because and I was surprised because I'm like, yo, I'm used to talking with you and arguing with you. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that's usually what happens when people talk to me. Like, either I'm talking shit, I'm debating you because i was in debate for four years in okay. high school as varsity all secret four talent years. secret not talent. a secret talent just something that i was interested in got you and i was good at so um i guess i just i i like logic like and the thought process following like traditional logic like and eliminating like assumptions based on like logical fallacies like that's very important to me and like like now, which has become very important in this day and age is like, you know, uh, like researching facts that you just read, like you need to be able to back it up. Is it from a credible source or did some just fucking writer just write that shit and they don't fucking know? Or is it a fucking study from Cambridge? You know, like that. I learned all that fucking from debate. Mm. And I luckily, you know, can apply all that shit to my life now. But at the same time, I got all my friends being like, don't fucking try to debate me. 
right now? <laughs> Why are you debating me? And it's like, bro, I'm not trying to argue with you like I want to fight you. I'm like arguing with you like on a philosophical level, like for the sake of the argument, for knowledge. If you prove me wrong, I will thank you for it because you've taught me something. And if I prove mm. you wrong, I'm trying to help you. But it doesn't always work out like that. That's higher level thinking. You can't expect that from everybody. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to like, you know, just drop people into it. Like you do drop the baby into the water, see how mm. they feel, take them out if they don't like that it. If they like start swimming, let them swim. That you sounds know? like some Jesus story. <laughs> like, no, Baby please. down the road of the water. Honey, I went to Catholic school. I ain't telling no Jesus stories. Uh, I did too. <laughs> I did. What, what school did you go to? Well, I'm, I remember I'm in New York. You know. Oh know shit. It. <laughs> okay. I'm all like, what fucking school? I, um, did I play? Sometimes you I wonder I I, if that stuff, like, <clears throat> I mean, like, obviously, all that, because I did all of it, all the normal education in Catholic school, but when it did uh, affect my thinking, but I feel like the primary reason why my parent, my mom, I guess, uh, puts me in there is. I guess, yes, he's, he is a big religious person, so that doesn't hurt. But I think the real reason, yo, do you, man. <laughs> no, I dropped my cigarettes. I'm going to see oh. if I can get them. Oh, get it. Don't worry about without it. Without destroying it. I'm going to knock everything over. <laughs> You're going to cut and be like, fucking Sarah. But um, I feel like she does it because of safety. Because like where I was growing oh, up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. New York, especially when, well, I don't know how old you are. I can guess. One guess. guess one guess. Just one. Uh, 37. Two. Yes. I'm like an old man to you. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, mean, yeah. you know Crash, so I can only yeah, assume. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Does he only hang out with old people? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, but you guys are only so... I just was putting you in Yeah, the... where did you drop this? That you're about <laughs> to like move like this? <laughs> I don't know. Can you get them? Where is it? I'm dying. It's right behind there. Sorry. Um, All right. But yeah, no, it was a safety thing because I literally like... my, my The biggest example I have of this is my friend. And I think he does first and second grade in my school, but then he does uh, 182 or maybe I think was the name of that school. And I started in 182 and I wanted to stay. I was so angry because I wanted to be with my friends. You know? PS 182? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know I, it for some reason? No, just it's, just a, it's cool that you refer to your, your public school like that. <laughs> like they don't do like that in Texas. Oh, what is it? Or you, like, you got oh, names I went and to stuff. Scobie Elementary or... I went to Robert E. Lee. Right? Yeah, Stuff some like bullshit that. like yeah, that. That's the only yeah. one I know because <laughs> of the news. Because yeah. it's fucking totally racist. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, but um, yeah, we used to play basketball at 131. 131 basketball is a real court for basketball. But uh, yeah, so like I see that guy go back and like, yo, he literally became like the stereotype like New Yorker gangster. Like, gangster, like, yeah. yeah. Like, not even like good at it, like making money and being rich, but I just mean like, you know, just like doing a like, gang banger, like yeah, just doing dumb bug shit. Don't with me. Or, or getting like, I see shit. he's gotten stabbed in his stomach, still has the wound and everything. That's what see, I mean. Like dumb shit like that. I feel you. I feel you. Um, and and that's smarter feel, your mom. And, and like, he is because I have this hip hop debate of like where hip hop is right now, and there's a lot of like no substance. We call it no substance rap, or there's a lot of like ignorant dumb shit. And there was always ignorant music, but there was. I feel like it's the centerfold now, and it, and at okay. least it shared space back in the day with not people doing dumb shit. And like he definitely I was hate trap music. He, yeah, yeah, that's that's what's at the center. But I mean, <laughs> but he, I got to see his mind literally change because of like I think. He would hear that shit. Like, he evolve, had, right? Yeah, yeah, he and, and yeah, and but like, like I you mean, see this, you, you hear all this gangster kid. shit, so he wants to to be that shit. That's and his then life now. He has That's an his uncle, ideal person, you know, who's a blood, and then he's like, well, like, why don't I go that way too? You know what I mean? So it's just, yeah, like, no, you know, like, I fucking my cousin, like I was just telling you about him, like he and he's not from here. He's never gonna fucking see this, but um, and he's the shit when he's not drinking. But like, and I didn't know he had started drinking. I guess it make all makes sense now because he just his mom had to call the cops on him, and he just got out of jail today. But he's sober again, which is great. But he was fucking telling me he beat up his own brother, telling me he's joining the West Side Crips and fucking Las Cruces, New Mexico. Oh, bro, you're fucking doing great for yourself. Like you're proud of that. Like fucking, why are you doing that? And he's like, well, I got people that are going to take care of me and shit like that. It's like, bro, you have a real family. Like what? You're going to go get a whole nother family and you already have all these problems with your own family. Now you got to worry about all these other people too and what yeah. they care about and what they don't like you doing and what they want you to do. Like that just sounds like no disrespect to anybody because I've had some friends that are, have been, you know, affiliated, whatever. And they're fucking stand up people. 
and they are straight as narrow, but those are the people that don't talk about their shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't fucking brag. They don't show you their stab wounds. Those are people who are in it to fucking survive, you know? Like, that have to be. Not because they're trying to seek some type of station in life yeah, where yeah, they yeah, think yeah. they're going to be glorified and they're going to be harder and cooler because of it. And it's very sad because I grew up with my cousin when we were kids, I didn't have an older brother. I'm the oldest. And he was like that to me. And he had that spark, that knowledge, you know, like that fire in him to learn, to be, uh, I don't know, drop jewels, whatever, you know, yeah, I don't, yeah, they're not yeah, like yeah. a fucking success story by any means. I mean, maybe if you look at all the horrible shit I've been through, I mean, I'm alive, so that's probably good. But, um, you know, like, it's just, it's sad to see that spark go out because of stupid shit like that. And I like, that's really awesome for mom to put you in Catholic school. Totally opposite of my story. I feel like I don't leave it. I don't understand any of that till I get here. Because the same thing with like, I always say on here that uh, I probably wasn't able to take advantage of the fact I was in New York because I didn't know I was in New York till I got here and a little bit older. (laughs) You you (laughs) you don't know what you got till it's gone. Yeah, because I, I didn't know like. All I needed was to take like you know one train and a subway and like right. all this power was over there like. Uh, but when we you were talking about Street Fighter and all this shit earlier, yeah, like, or like you've heard me talk about it, but like a lot of the the people doing high level stuff there, like even if they're not like the guy winning, um, they were all playing at Chinatown Fair, you know, and like I could have been like a part of it, but I didn't. You could know. still be a part of that. No, I could have been part of those G's. Those like. that you okay. <laughs> let me drop another jewel for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The past is the past because it's past. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like, so it's past. It's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not. You would have could have should have ain't worth for another sure. thought. Do sure. it now. Because the present is a gift because you have that. It's mm. now. The future is not guaranteed. You can walk outside my door and get hit by a car. You know, we have this right now. Do your shit right now. Do where you're at. Do you right now. Don't say, well, I could have done this. Let me go back here. Fucking, like I said, water your own fucking grass, man. Do your shit here. You can do shit. Like, there's tons of people v- vlogging, vlogging, whatever. <laughs> um, vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> Bl- like v-logging. two different things for camera, for this camera especially. Like- <laughs> <laughs> but they're playing video games. Yeah, yeah. Online. I mean, you don't have to be in New York to do that. You just broadcast that shit, man. You could do that no, shit. No, no, I used to. It, it, it went nowhere for me. Uh, personality. Did you, sucks. How quickly game. did you give up? <laughs> Probably like a few months after. Cause I, a I few just months, bro. Up. You yeah. can't give up in a few months. But the months. thing is, I, I like, I, and I was talking to my friend yesterday. I've narrowed it down at least because I liked a lot of shit. I like a lot of shit and I like doing all those things and I want to be like high level at all of them, which is tough because now you're doing time accumulation. And that's, that's and, for me too. It's like you've got to fucking pick a focus yeah like so for me like i've at least narrowed like i was telling my friend because i think i usually go hard at something and then i get i don't know if bored is the right word but you know then you want to do something else for a minute and i'm like i think i was telling him i, I narrowed it down to like the music and podcasts because now at least i go hard on one of them and i get bored but so i run away to the other one but now at least i'm ping-ponging yeah that's instead of you like are, you're i used to have like five things you know it was games it was this it was that you know like basketball yeah basketball too was one of them it's in it's not yeah. in your peripherals <laughs> it's in your center yeah it's like so here at least and here i've that's narrowed good. it down because like I, I in terms of gaming now if we're talking like now i would love to be a part of it but i ain't trying to be a player the only, the only way i would try to be a player is like look man you need to take care of all my income then i'll totally waste all my time but i being a player, like you have to actually, at least in fighting games, not in all games. In all games, it becomes more like sports. You don't have to win. You just got to be good, you know? In fighting games, if you ain't in that one percentile who's always winning, you're probably not making a living off Okay, of but it. who is that one motherfucker that just watches video games that South Park made fun of? That, uh, uh, I don't watch the South Park these days. P- PewDiePie. Oh, yeah. But you see, he's part of... Um, he don't even he ain't and good I, at the shit, yeah. right? And I hate doing this because that's just like where I'm, you're doing the excuse thing. But uh, I know well, I'm not you. I'm excuses, doing excuses, motherfucker. But no, but he's part. <laughs> this is why I'm, I'm hoping to at least catch like the next wave of like because that's why I'm trying to make content too. I'm mean, even making it for now. I'm making it to like be more aware so when things happen, I can jump on the next boat. Because he, I don't know his origin date, but I believe he's just part of like. On any of these social platforms, usually first arrivals have a lot of access because they're just the first ones, you know? Um, you just got to get a gimmick, man, and uh, something that other people aren't doing. Yeah, but he he was one of the OGs, and then he, you know, he flooded the market, you know? Like, 
I don't know why he still remains. Maybe he is that good for his people, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. When you're like one of the the first arrivers on any of these things, like Instagram and all that, like um, you, you ever heard of Gary Vaynerchuk at all? Doesn't matter. But he's like a big time marketer. But he interviewed um this this woman. I've never heard of her, right? And I, and I've I've checked out a lot of social fitness stuff on Instagram. Mm. But apparently, like. She's the number one or in terms of like number, you know, people following her. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've never heard of this woman. I've heard of so many people. I've heard of Christmas Abbott, a lot of people like her, you know, but she's not the number one. Um, But I think it was because she was one of the first, you know, and that's not to say she sucks, but I mean, like she was just one of the first. And when you're one of the first on those things, like there isn't like, oh, now this. Yeah, because like, like I like. I, I learned a lot of yoga stuff from Instagram. Right? I'm a big yoga person. You are? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> but, very interesting because that's something I haven't gotten into. But like all of my spiritual shit is based around. I just I mean, I like Tai Chi a lot. But yeah. I have not because it's practically applied. Like it's self-defense. If I'm in a class, so I won't. I'm not like against any of this stuff. But I do the yoga mainly because like uh, for the body part. You know what I mean? Like no. Not even working out. Like literally like. Like vitality there, for sure yeah there was a point where like i lost my arms like my last real job like i didn't lose them like physically like, well, so, cause sometimes i tell people and they go good. yeah <laughs> i know some people think i'm talking about but like i got lost usage and like i was typing with pens because everything hurt what the fuck i'm not so you joking. had like carpal tunnel or some shit yeah everybody thinks that and i thought that too but like doing a lot of research and like telling that whole thing short like uh uh a friend gave me so i'm still friends with her now uh this always happens like uh I feel like I always end up being friends with like people's exes and stuff, you know. So I, I ran into All the, her. everybody's exes, and we don't Texas. even hang out. Yeah, right. <laughs> shout out to George Strait. You know, I know that I only know that line because of Drake. But shout out to George Strait. <laughs> like, like, George Strait, <laughs> motherfucker, not. Drake. But yeah, I ran into to her at uh, I think it's closed now. The 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 pharmacy, the pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ran into down. her there many years that ago. Place is a fucking I'm still show. telling her that, and she had the same problem too. But for guitar, she's a classical guitar player, and she gives me. This PDF about like trigger point therapy. Um, oh, like fucking huge. Point? Yeah, yeah. But uh, yo, know, that shit combined with like yoga, that shit saved my life. You know, like so I got the back buddy and all this dumb shit. You know, like hey, no, it's not myself. dumb. No, but it's great. It's fantastic. It's not dumb because I can do this now. I, this shit would not even be happening because right. Of, well, you would before. have been able. I'd set up everything for you and it looked like shit. Like no, Sound I could like set shit. it up, but I wouldn't edit it because I'd be. Like, You'd be editing it with pens. Yeah, like, no, so yeah, I used to type data Fuck, entry that's nuts, type bullshit man. like that. Data entry with pens, you must yeah. be fucking fast. I mean, like you, you learn, you know what you need and don't need, you know, like so. So at you that can point, fix my computer then. <laughs> it just depends what's wrong. I, I'm really bad at that because a lot of people think I'm good with stuff, and I think I am. But I've noticed, <laughs> I've noticed this, and it just might be like the Fake asshole it in me. You make it. I think that the asshole in me. I'm real good at like getting my shit because I will spend two days when that shit ain't working, just figure it out, you know. For you. But yeah, when it's someone else's, I'm like. How much are you paying me for this? Where, <laughs> I never even think of that. Maybe that was the eat? problem. Maybe I should have asked for like paint. But what, it's like, what is the, I'll take my one look at it and I'm how like. How many blowjobs do I get? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like maybe this has been, been the problem. Like I'm never asking for a war. So I'll, I'll take my quick look and I'm like, what did you do? And the story they always tell me like makes no sense to me. I was like, well, why are you even doing that? I'm like just so confused and uninterested and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, like so. But when it's my, like right now, like all my computer is doing right now is that. This shit is not fast and efficient enough, like like encoding video. And that shit's pissing me the fuck off that I'm thinking of wiping the entire thing and starting from zero, you know? Hey, man, sometimes you gotta do that shit. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's not even like broke. Everything works, you know? But that's enough for me to, like, like what I do, like, the whole day today when you're talking to me and before, like, ruin my whole... I like to do yoga every time I wake up. I haven't even done yoga because I'm just, like, it's no, just bothering me. Because like, it's just bothering the- me. I'm like... Why is that shit not working? I want it to work. I want to fuck with it until it fucking works. And when it works, then I can do whatever that else. That is a the really important that I was lesson to. in life that I have learned. <laughs> and I've once I've learned it, I've watched people be in the same spot yeah. and fail because of it. When something is that much preoccupying your mind yeah, in yeah. your headspace that you can't even get to the shit you were supposed to do or like you're focusing on it so much that you're in a rut or you're fucking shit up instead of fixing it yeah yeah you gotta stop you gotta take a fucking break and do something else jerk off fucking Mm. watch a movie 
fucking, I don't know, go throw eggs at some cars or some yeah, that's shit. That's fucked up. Dude, no, 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 don't throw eggs at the cars. Do. Don't throw the eggs at Come on, no, man. Don't throw that. <laughs> I don't know. It's like super I'm disrespectful. Now you bring in like, shit to other people. To, like, <laughs> like, I used to be a little piece of shit. Anyways, that's not the point. The point <laughs> is, you gotta stop and refocus yourself somewhere else. Yeah. Before you, you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Mm. <laughs> because seriously, I literally like, He's like my trying mom, to speak hip hop to me. Like he'll understand this. <laughs> no, you he'll understand. understand. <laughs> you understand. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do I teach these kids? <laughs> um, no, but like for example, I watched my mom the other day, and the panel to our oven. <laughs> it's super funny uh, in New Mexico because they are gonna move there for retirement. They've got a house now, but the panel. Uh, you think you'll stay here circuit. or go back? Huh? You think you'll stay here or go back? No, I'm probably going to stay here until I, I, maybe if I'm needed up there again and <clears> they're there because, damn, my uncles are fucking crazy. I can't fucking live with any of them. For sure. Uh, or have any of them be my landlord or my boss or anything like that. I need to just be completely independent if I go back up there. But uh, I digress. Uh, she was fucking with that shit. And one of the wires gets loose. And so when you push anything on there, it just goes six, six, six. Like you're trying to type 450. Yeah, bait. yeah, yeah. It's just six, six, six. That's hilarious. I know. I took a video of me doing it. I was like, oh, I push all these buttons. It's just six, six, six. Yeah, I fucking love that shit. But my mom didn't like that shit at all because she fucking is Christian as fucking like. Yeah, yeah. Like two times <laughs> so as bad. One, it doesn't it work. And, and two, it's it, like horrible. she's like slamming it and slamming it. And she's been standing there now for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, mom. Exorcist episode. You're going to break it if you keep fucking with it. Take a break. Let's go smoke a cigarette. Let's go have a beer. And so she did. And we came back and we fixed it. I got shocked because she fucked with it so much. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to fix it. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I'm old now, mom. I can have a heart attack for this shit. But the thing is that it got fucked up so bad because she just would not step away from it. If you're trying to fix a fucking oven panel for 30 minutes and you don't even have to bake nothing, obviously you're in a rut. You got to take a break, step back, do something else. And come back. To well, it. I don't. I am. I'm doing stuff. I'm encoding a video. I'm trying to encode a video. I'm just trying to. Not that video is tough. The same video. That video that is not as big as other big videos was telling me it's gonna take sixty hours, and I was like, "What the fuck? Like so, none of them take sixty hours." So just write it up, make some music while you're waiting, and then I'm I can't. sure it will I use that same won't... computer. I use that same. <laughs> you need two computers. Yeah, I do. Not... I do. I need one just for. I need like a powerhouse one that you don't even use. I just hit encode because encoding usually takes one hundred percent of power. Yeah. So I just need one, just an engine that all it does. Isn't is it pretty just cheap to media. build a computer? Uh, yeah, um, yes and no, but yeah, uh, but I don't, my my only desktop that I have, I did build it myself, but it was like 10 years old, so that shit's a relic, but uh, you just I take think, some shit out and put it in, and it's not a relic no more, right? I did that for the video part, so yeah, and that's why it's still like functioning just nice, <laughs> like, but yeah, probably at this point, like everything probably does need to be updated, like the motherboard and chip, but uh, I think what I want to probably have, uh, this is probably want to make more money like i don't need it but i just think it'd be more convenient um just no more desktops and just one windows and one mac mm -hmm. both laptops and that way they yeah. both fly everywhere you know and that's it exactly yeah so that's why i don't want to build one and and at least as far as i know like building laptops isn't really like a thing, thing. Not a unless, I unless, about yeah 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 but i mean because i would love to build my own but like it doesn't really work like that, you know. You can, you can if you really want to be building like, Dude. a laptop. That don't make no sense at all. But yeah, like, I'm talking about a computer, <laughs> like a desktop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. But I mean, like at this point, like I, I like I want to have everything mobile because I just everything I got into like live streaming and and doing all this like bringing big shit just sucks. Especially because for a lot of these things, you need like 400 wires anyway. So it's like, look, I want all the gear I don't small. even need that to look at all the <laughs> wires over there, man. Like, what is that even for? I don't know. Yo, look at that. <laughs> that extension cord. Hey, I just realized. That. Yeah, I got all kinds of shit over there. I got a gun for the Xbox, an assault rifle. I don't Do you even, even have, have an, an Xbox? Xbox. I was about to nope. say. <laughs> but I can't. The analog controls, like my brain, I'm, I'm super 80. And I remember that I saw one of your casts um, where you guys were talking about ADHD and how everybody has it. That's fucking bullshit. It was, I wonder who was that? I don't remember. It yeah. was a girl, but I don't remember who. Yeah, that's why but you I was sitting there girls. and I was like, this is fucking bullshit because <laughs> I fucking have ADHD, okay? And like, 
And now in the new diagnostic statistical manu- manual or the oh, DSM. Shit. Facts. Let's go. Um, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> let's go. Let me, let me educate you. <laughs> uh, it's Debate, broken Sarah. up into three, uh, three subtypes. There's um, like uh, inattentive, hyper, hyperactive, and then combined. Mm. And I'm combined. <laughs> um, but then there's ADD and they are vastly different. And then a lot of people who had bipolar disorder and vice versa were misdiagnosed. And then, yeah, they just f- fucking kids who were just kids. They just diagnosed them with that so they could give them Ritalin and like zombie them out, of course. So that's why everybody thinks everybody has ADHD or ADD. But that's not fucking true because I can't use an analog control. My brain don't connect like that. Like I am running around in circles with my head up in the air or facing the ground. But then I saw that shit and I was like, I, I was on sale like at fucking GameStop. And I was like, dude, I can fucking play like a fucking uh, first person shooter game now with this shit. Like I got an assault rifle. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, need to yeah. fucking use those analog controls anymore. <laughs> I still have never used it, but I can't wait because I'm an excellent shot in real life. So it was like, when I was trying to like play those games, like fucking Call of Duty. I don't know if it's going to translate to the infrared laser or whatever. Hey man, I, I'm pretty sure it can. I mean, I play like House of the Dead and shit but like that. But if it's calibrated wrong and stuff, like remember you used to have to calibrate the guns and stuff That's, if you played yeah. at home. <laughs> like, like, well, so you might be aiming right and it's still going stupid. I mean, if <laughs> like, I figure out how it's fucked up, then I can compensate for that. Yeah, there I mean, you just go. like if you have a fucking Wind. fucked up barrel. <laughs> just pretend yeah, it's windy. Yeah, exactly. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can deal with that more than I can deal with my right and my left brain connecting at the same time. Like, for it was sure. just sad. But I mean, at the same time, I also have other advantages because of it. Um, but yeah, no, everybody is definitely not ADHD or ADD. They do exist, but they are very commonly misdiagnosed. All right. I mean, I'm not going to not agree. I'm like, I don't even remember this. <laughs> like, you guys had like, a, I think that's when I turned it off. Oh, that's who it was. Who I turned was it? it off. We won't say names, but I turned that shit I'll off. I'll say it. I love names. I don't know. I don't know the names. Yeah. So we won't so say the names. So that's why we won't say. <laughs> don't fucking protect call these. me out. <laughs> I'll call myself out. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but yeah, so I was just like, uh-uh, I'm done. <laughs> I'll address this later. <laughs> Bet you it was Ash. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. God bless both of you, but. Mm. That's not true. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. I, I think psychology is really funny now because um, I picked up a DSM three. We're on the DSM five now. What is that? Uh, Diagnostic statistical manual. So it's the, cri- it's a giant book that doctors, you know, psychiatrists use to diagnose people with psychological disorders. Mm. Okay, so the third one, we're on the fifth one, came out in 1980, okay? So they didn't get another one. God, when did the DSM-4 come out? Like in 2000 and something, like early 2000s. And then the DSM-5 just came out in 2013. Mm. So like even somebody who got a psychology degree like, what, like eight years ago is not, unless they are like continue edu- continuing education, like up to speed, they are not up to speed on the new diagnosis for things. And I don't know if I said that in yeah, the yeah, correct yeah, yeah. conjugation of that word. But um, anyway, like, um, so it's really sad. And the one that was released in 1980 that didn't get updated until like the early 2000s, like was the basis for everything. And if you read that, there's things like, you know, uh, like I can't remember what the disorder is because it's not even real, but they use like conversion therapy, like, like for people who are homosexuals and it's, it's not a fucking disorder to be homosexual. It's obviously not. They had hysteria in there, which is like a women psych. Like if you're a woman and you just go crazy, you have hysteria. Like they have uh, hysterical pregnancies, which aren't a real thing. And that was the basis of knowledge until from 1980 until the early 2000s or late 1990s. I want to say early 2000s, Mm. Um, which is really sad. And so it leaves a lot of people who do have psychological disorders at a disadvantage to the public, like, because of shit like that. And a lot of people don't even realize that. Um, But yeah, if you read, I bought the DSM-3 to read and laugh at. But then when I kind of, like, applied all of that shit to, like, real life, I was like, this is fucking sad. Like, this is really fucking sad. Um, So, yeah, I don't know. That's my soapbox about psychology <laughs> sorry so catch up that's what you're saying yeah no, pe- people really do and i really feel like that should be something that people need to be educated on in school like as a requirement 
not only just like basics of psychology, but how to like approach people and deal with people that have certain psychological disorders, you know, um, and it's even our parents, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't think certain things are real. Like my uncles and shit don't believe in ADHD. They don't believe in anxiety disorder, you know, like they don't believe in shit like that. They uh, like manic, they think bipolar is manic depressive and it means something completely different to them than what bipolar really fucking is. And it's like, <clears throat> it's just, it's super, it's super sad that the, the gap and like the lack of like knowledge that like, you know, and like misinformation that has just remained in people's heads that, that turn. And like, I was going to ask you, like, if you ever got diagnosed with that, cause you're like, well, I like to do this and I like to do that. And then I get bored with it and I go do something else. That's very typical ADD <clears throat> mm. when you get bored and you do something else. Difference between ADD and ADHD is I'm not getting bored with this conversation about music. I just have this thought that came into my head. And before I can even fucking stop it and focus, I'm already talking so about it. So what's wrong with saying ADD or whatever? ADD is where you get bored and you start doing something else, even though you know that this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what you want to be doing, but something discourages you or bores you or you find out or something that doesn't apply to you. And then you I think it, it happens with me like when. Now that I've figured it all out, because like, yeah, it's not like my mixes sound like pro yet. Mm -hmm. They're, they're just probably like they don't sound like shit. But I mean, if you put it next to a pro one, you can tell right away. But um, I think. Whenever I probably reach the level of like, oh, OK, now like nothing new is happening. That's that's probably what I have. So like now I'm interested in music again, but it's because I'm doing since I stopped doing the group. Now I was like, man, beats beats have bored me forever, which is why I even started the group. Like I have almost never played any real show where it was just me because I was like, I knew right from the beginning, like that's whack. Like I don't even like watching the people I like do this shit, you know, because well, like, <laughs> when it's a DJ, it's not about watching them. It's about dancing. Yeah, yeah. See, I never even got into it. Like, but that probably goes back into me when I was younger, just being a different person and super shy. Because I still probably don't dance, but now I'm just like... I can wear a helmet like Daft Punk. <clears throat> there you go. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but now I'm interested because now, like, oh, okay, I only want to do songs. And by songs, I mean, like, not to say that beats aren't songs, but now, like, you know, they don't have vocals in it. And they're all pretty much have like some part of me in it, like some story, whatever it is I want to talk about, whatever subject. And like I'm doing vocals, which I never really did except for lives. And I didn't do that to the end of our little, if you want to say career. <laughs> I didn't do that to the end. Um, so, yeah, now I'm doing primary vocals. So now for the most part, cool. I rap every now I'll, I'll, I'll sing, you know. So you're going to um, bust the flow? Uh, no, not on here. <laughs> but that's why if you seen my Instagram post, that's why everyone is because it's not even about being good or bad. It's just about practicing the craft. Every exactly. Day, you know, so everything, every picture is training and stuff so that when I do do it for the songs, I'll, I'll be much more active because I can see it now. Like when I write for stuff, it just flows. Even if it's not good or bad, it flows versus when I first started, I had to actually try, you know, <laughs> I had to like and then it just get comes the to reels now. rolling. Yeah, yeah. Um, so or now even it's now, about delivery. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. The flow, the actual flow of the the, the, the delivery. Yeah, yeah. That part we're still working on. But <laughs> you gotta get the mailman involved with that one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, maybe but, you can be the mailman. Oh no, shit. Nah, fuck that. Delivery. Fuck that. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't know fucking. But but yeah. So like, jokes. I'm interested now in that because like this is the the vocal stuff is new for me. You know, newer for me versus like, all right, let me just make beats like all my friends because like. It got to, if you hear like music when I first started and when it was instrumental, like it, those had meanings too, because I would borrow samples and do all that. So there was still a story and narrative and they all had like, all right, this girl didn't like me. So here's a song, blah, blah, blah. Versus like. That's how music is though. But That's how no, works. but then I started getting into like the beat battles and stuff and like the whole culture of today and like how to do that. And now you're making music for music's sake. And that's when it. That's where probably the beginning of me getting jaded for, was because it wasn't fun no more. Because now it's just an activity we do because I need another beat. I need another beat. I gotta beat. be fresh. I gotta be up. Yeah, yeah. Beat. Versus like, okay, like here is this story I'm inspired. about my life. You know? Yeah, exactly. Here's this. Yeah. No, it's funny because um, I was, and you know, I mean, okay, whatever. I will shamefully admit, you know, I like to sing and like to dabble and i used to write, write a lot of poetry in high school because i did 
debate in our own turf. And so I would write my own sometimes. And then I, you know, started liking to sing, whether it's good or not. You know, I mean, like, whatever is a matter of opinion in the eye of the holder, all that shit. But um, anyways, I appreciate that from my own little standpoint. Maybe I'll break out in that. Maybe I'll break out in something else. I don't fucking know. Maybe I won't ever break out at all. Who gives a shit? But the point is that I was looking and uh, shout out, I guess, to like Mikey vibe, but he posted something and he was like, uh, or somebody posted something and he commented and it was about like, when are you most inspired to write or make music? And he was like, or what are you most inspired by? And he was like, when I'm fucking angry, when I fucking hate someone. And I was like, yes, me too. <laughs> like, 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 I want to write a song about that shit. Like, and it's not, or like when you're like, you know, pissed off or like, I don't know, sometimes when you're down in the dumps, but like, whatever, you shouldn't make music for music's sake. Like you said, it should be because, oh shit, you forgot to silence your ringer. Because <laughs> this uses Wi-Fi, so it's like, when I turn things off, I gotta turn everything on. <laughs> I don't on. give yeah. a shit. I was just no, joking. no, but I, it, that's happened a lot now, and I'm like, man, I could be putting these things in airplane mode, but it's just the camera just makes it so much easier to just leave it on. Yeah, <laughs> like, who, who like, gives a like, shit? I'm just like, joking. Like, but anyway, yeah, no, you, it, that's the Tekken Two song, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, I love that's. I have two discs of video games. I have. Mega Man. That's what one, I mentioned. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. Tekken one. Yeah. <laughs> Tekken or no, two. Tekken three. Tekken, Tekken tag. Three. That Tekken one. three or tag? Well, isn't Tekken three Tekken tag? No, the tags have no number. They 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 numbers are games, and then then I have Tekken yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Three was the PlayStation, the last PlayStation one. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Anyway, that's my shit. Tekken three. As I stopped playing video games after that. Mm. No, yeah, really. I don't remember that combo. Yeah, because we're on seven right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I mean, I, I mean, it's all essentially the same. I'm sure I could be all right at it. In it's, my opinion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean. Anyway, we won't get into that. <laughs> that is a can of worms. But uh, yeah, no, it's like when you write music because you have to, it's going to be shitty. When you write music because you want to, that's when it's important. Um, so yeah, it's good that you're getting into like singing and stuff like that because it's a new avenue for you. And I, it looks like for me, in my perspective of you, that you got to have something always sparking your interest. Like, so just just try new shit, man. And you'll you'll yeah, like, stay in the love. You'll stay in the wanting to make it versus having to make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's where I probably went wrong in the last two years. <laughs> like, it's a, Well, be mindful was, of it, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm highly more self-aware now than I think I was back then. That's I'll, good. I don't make music every day because, like I said, I'll go back and forth with this. You and shouldn't. then this guilts me. No, because this shit, like, people give me their time. So I'm like, all right. I should probably start putting these up. <laughs> so like now, I don't you put this out no, next yeah, year. but that's but I mean, still, there's a bunch of other people. I'm like, oh, you know, they care. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> just know, like, kidding. I care. Some I guess. people give me messages and shit, and it's like, where's right. my fucking interview, bro? So I try to yeah put these out. You know, like like priority. I'm not famous yet. And that's that's another reason why it pisses me off when this fucking computer <laughs> takes 20 hours because it's like, dude, now I can't do just shit. Don't sweat <laughs> it, man. <laughs> like that's a thing. If you're doing something that you love, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. making you fucking stress out, then you gotta change for sure, something. For sure. But um, I uh, I'm more interested to do it every day now. At least in my head, like I said, I can't because it isn't. But because uh, now just the challenge of uh, writing excites me of the the vocal parts. You know what I mean? You because know what that is I really liked and I wanted to get into is fucking like um, and I've always liked it and wanted to do it. But somebody who really put it together really well that I admire as a musician or a musical talent, whatever. Uh, I don't know. You know Wax Taylor, right? No. Okay, you should check them out. They do uh, like samples, but like uh, they their most famous one is uh, of Doris Day, the case Sera Sera. But it's fucking sick, man. You think Doris Day, and you're like, well, no fucking beats with that. Like Doris yeah, yeah. Day is like old, <laughs> like. But they totally like breathe new life into that, and and then they take all these samples like from these movies of people talking, and like just made it something brand new and awesome. And for me. Personally, that song, you know, my grandma likes that shit. And like, you know, it it has like a nostalgic feeling for me. But at the same time, like, you know, some of my friends only know that song because of that Wax Taylor song. Mm. And um, so I always like hear like samples of like or like shit in songs that I'm like, man, I could put that with a fucking beat and like 
drop it. Like, I don't know. I don't. I barely sample anymore if at all because since I do, I like that's the other thing with me too is like I love making stuff, but I also like I want to put it out. A lot of people love making stuff, and that's it. And then they and uh, they get caught up in making the perfect thing, so they start making new stuff, but they can't release that one because it's not perfect. And now you end up with like five thousand. I have I have one friend who has over twenty four hours of unreleased music and. It's still you not good steal enough. Steal it and release it. I know. Well, I keep telling them to release it. I haven't thought of the stealing it part. That's an interesting. You wouldn't be stealing it. You'd just be hijacking it and releasing it. Just release it under his name with his picture and but, like give him credit and just uh, like hijack it and release but, it. But but yeah, like I, I'm hesitant to sample these days because like yeah, I want to put it out. And now that like uh, things like SoundCloud still works, but it's not a relevant medium. So it's yeah, like if I put it anymore. there or if I put it on YouTube, no one's gonna hear it. Versus like if I put it on Spotify, people will at least. Like hear it, so I was like, "All right, dude, I'll just make original shit." And then if I ever get to a level oh, where I'm I can start about, clearing like, samples, like beats, maybe like a small, like three second, like riff or something. But I'm talking about like vocals and stuff like that. Well, like, yeah, but that's still a, that's a sample. Vocals, a sample. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I still can like release that on like a. a you could. <laughs> it, there's a rule. It you has, gotta clear it and stuff. No, it, there's a rule where if it's only a certain amount of time, technically, it does. You don't have to clear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that amount of time is. I would like to know. Maybe I, can I know it. it's usually a three to seven, depending on the platform. Three I don't know the seconds. music rule. I don't know the actual like music music, but I know like certain platforms have that too, like YouTube's and stuff before it gets to the copyright holder. And yeah. I feel like it was in the three to seven range for YouTube. Yeah. Even if it's three seconds, like, I mean, you, you can, can still get some do something with shit. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I should look that up for music. Yeah, dude, because that's a whole other fucking avenue for you when you get bored probably, with Because, yeah, no, because we started. Rapping, sorry. Yeah, we started with that. We started with samples like in the hip hop game. So I mean, but yeah, it just became a whole bunch of legally shit that I was like, well, I don't even want to deal with that shit. Well, all, you you know? need, <laughs> like, it, all you need to know is that yeah. simple rule and just be far underneath it. Yeah. Every we'll time. See. I'll try to. I'll try to look that up. But you don't have to. Just no, like no, you, no, no. That's good. If you want to. <laughs> no, that's good because that would give me a bunch of weapons that I don't yeah, use anymore. Yeah, fix you know? shit in so, your yeah. arsenal, man. But yo. Let me get these. Uh, let me start doing these live questions. That way, we get you out of here. Oh shit! All right. All right. First one is uh, what's one thing you believe that everybody thinks you're crazy for believing? Oh fuck! Oh, a lot of shit. <laughs> like uh, just one. You don't need the whole. In episode. myself? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Um, you're like next question. <laughs> I guess. Uh, actually, this is a good one. Uh, I philosophically am an absurdist which is the like most nihilistic form of nihilism and i talk to people who are nihilists but they're all concerned with shit not mattering and the whole thing of with absurdism is like the breakdown is and they use a lot of like thought uh thought experiments for it but if you break it down barney style it is to realize that even the fact that nothing matters also doesn't fucking matter so just because None of this shit matters. This could all be fucking a simulation. We could all be dead already. This is another dimension. This is like, you know, we're like avatars for whatever the fuck, you know, like God doesn't give a shit about us. We're food for another fucking alien species or extra dimensional species, whatever the fuck you think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Even though all that shit don't matter, the fact that it doesn't matter doesn't matter either because you still have to exist in this realm. Mm. You know, you have to exist in real life. So just, do you, you know, like because everything doesn't matter, doesn't mean you have to kill yourself or drop all morality, you know, like do what you feel is right. Even though if it doesn't matter, like to the rest of fucking like if you're not going to fucking make a dent in the fucking universe or the world or society or whatever the fuck you think is important. You're making a dent. You're affecting what's around you, whatever the fuck it is. And that's what's important to you. And what's important to you may not matter. But at the end of the day, you're in your own head. You're in your own life. You're in this realm. And so don't fucking focus on the fact that it doesn't matter. Just do you. Let shit slide. If shit goes wrong, bad shit happens. Like, let it go, you know? Mm, um, frozen that shit. Yeah, dude. Seriously. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I don't know if I d explained it correctly. I mean, but... I, I don't know. I, I could have at one point. I mean, I could get into this, like, but it's 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 a really, it's a hard concept to grasp. 
But when you're talking to a nihilist and you say that, they're like, oh, well, like, oh it, it doesn't matter that it doesn't matter. And I'm like, yeah, bro, that's the whole fucking point of it. Like, and that's why it's called absurdism is because the whole point of it, the, the full circle of it is it that you you can laugh at the irony of it all. Yeah. And if you can laugh in your life, then that's all that fucking matters, right? Mm. If you can be happy. So smile. Yeah. Oh, nice. Fucking smile. Put a smile on your face because you look prettier that way. <laughs> there you go, I smile. All right. <laughs> what well, comes to mind because I usually think songs when I hear keywords, that was a Scarface and Tupac song. Oh, smile. shit. Nice. Yeah, it was after Tupac died. So it was a freaky video for a lot of people. Really? <laughs> like, yeah. Rock and roll. But uh, what's your goal in life? Uh, to, I don't know, do as little harm as possible. To well, do as little, is that a problem for you? Are you just harming people? No, <laughs> like, well, maybe when I was younger. And also, I mean, like, just be my authentic self. Be, you know, what I believe is moral, what I believe is just, and try to act that way and be that way as much as possible. And if I fuck up, own it, you know, mm. and fix it. Mm. Just be me. Be the real me. Don't mm. be a shithead. <laughs> real, the real Sarah. I, I like guess. that you're like, I guess. You're really like, is I mean, Sarah I, I real? Don't really, I, don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> All right. Who do you have compassion for? What? What is that? That's like a very vague question. What do I you know. Mean? I, I, there's been a few who, people. Is, are you talking about a person? Are you talking about a historical figure? Like, are you yeah, talking about. These people, since it's vague, you can answer it. Someone any way who you want. died in the past that I feel sorry for or. Like uh, starving children or people who, what, what do you mean, compassion? I don't know. It's just a question. I think this, the, the questions in the middle now are like, they're just like a flip of a, of a self Bro, you can't ask me a question. Yeah, I can, man. That I just if you did. don't know what it means, you got to tell me what it means. Like, no, because I just give it to people I, and like people interpret it however they well, want to interpret like, it. Are you like, what fucking Sarah McLaughlin, like the dogs? Like, what would I put, write a song I don't to? Know. Put it that on might TV? be her, your thing, dogs too. I don't know. what. <laughs> who am I compassionate about? What am I? Uh, Whatever. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I have, c- compassion is a really weird word in and of itself because it's like, it almost implies to me that it is, you know, you know, because of a flaw, you know, or in spite of a flaw that you feel this warm hearted way for someone or, or with endearment, I guess. So, I mean, when you ask that to me, I, I don't know the context or how to answer it because I feel like, uh, you know, I, I'm compassionate to this person because they have this problem or this strife or this horrible thing happened to them. Mm. Uh, but I guess who do I have compassion for? I don't know, uh, all the fucking starving kids in fucking, uh, God damn it, where are they starving now? Where, where are they starving they now? Have, they have the blockade and they're not allow- allowing any food in. God damn, I fucking sound like an idiot. Um, is it Syria? Maybe. All right, well, I'm going to sound like a fucking fool, but um, I, I try not to watch the news, but it gives me anxiety. But all those kids that are fucking dying because of that blockade, that really that makes me sad and I have passion mm. for them I'd go feed them if I could but I feel like only because of this show like I had to like look up that word because it doesn't happen a lot but every now and then I get uh, uh, questions about, about that debater. one <laughs> then no. it's like what do you mean by compassion sir yeah yeah and I'm like alright and yeah so I googled <laughs> it one day and like, try to get the definition because I just thought like normally it was just some love type some variation on love and, oh so and it who just do I have like, love for is that what you mean no no but that's what I thought that word meant well but that's then what the you word, mean by it then yeah, but then the word was like seemed like sympathy or some type yeah, of shit. Yeah, almost. You it know? does. Like, yeah. Not quite, but it it is going in that going direction. Going in that direction. So maybe yeah. change your question. Who do you have love maybe for? Maybe adapt it. Yeah. Who do you got love for? Yeah. I don't know. I got love for people who fucking endear me, <laughs> who who let me fuck up and let me fucking be me and you know, stumble through life in a stupid way and don't fucking hold it against me. And if I own up to being a shithead, like fucking still be there and around for me and when, when I do. All right. So that's I'm change, I, I'll change that question in the future. I'll ask it in honor of LL Cool J, who do you love? <laughs> and I'll just ask it like that. Like, <laughs> You're going to ask it on purpose because yeah, yeah, it's in honor too. of LL Cool J. Yeah. Don't ask it, ask it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the sample here too so I can play it. Like, who do you love? <laughs> that would be. <laughs> there you go. That's your little. Stop it. I just make sure. Oh, shit. I just make sure. <laughs> we fucked up. We haven't been recording this um, whole time. No, it's two different parts. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, 
What's the next one? Uh, three things you're thankful for in life. Uh, I am thankful for being alive still. Mm. That's still I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not a probability thing for me to still be alive. <laughs> um, I am thankful for uh, being in a first world country and having all my basic needs met. Mm, perspective. And I'm thankful for people who uh, love me and care for me when I can't give anything back to them. Mm. All right. Let's see. Let's see where we go with this one with you. Um, one person. Come at me, bro. <laughs> one person that you want to forgive, and vice versa. One person that you want them to forgive you, and if you can say why. Uh, that I want to <clears throat> forgive. Uh, <laughs> I'm all like, am I gonna do this for fucking uh, ulterior motives, or <laughs> <laughs> hmm, where should I go with this? Let's see who I want to forgive. This is hard because there's I've had a lot of fucked up shit happen to me in my life. Um, I guess somebody who I would want to forgive would be. I guess I won't name names, but a couple of fucking, you know, homegirls that I was thought I was close with that maybe used me as like a stepping stone in their mm. social ladder. But it's at the same time, it's a loaded question because you how do, how can you forgive somebody that doesn't want to be forgiven? You know, um, and again, like I said, I, I stole this from like a self talk I, I used to do. <laughs> this is stolen, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, like because that's why I think some of these questions come into conflict because it was originally like meant to be self imposed, mm -hmm. and so like some of these things, I had to flip them to ask because they're not even they're not even set up to be asked you're you know? growing like, you're, you're gonna grow them into your own questions yeah we're yeah so there. like no but with but, um when you say that i i often found like dude sometimes you're forgiving them for you not even for for no. them to be oh my god that's no, because, the definition yeah, of catharsis that's yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly what it fucking is yeah yeah no um but yeah no i and honestly i've grown to the point where i don't want to forgive people for me <clears throat> I don't want to be forgiven for me. I want that conflict and that strife and that when I think about certain memories or certain things that leads me to that block in my brain where, oh, I don't talk to that person anymore or, mm. oh, that person's dead, sadly, sometimes. Uh, and I guess actually, there we go. The person I would like to forgive that I never got to forgive was my one of my good friends that passed away. His name's Juan and he had a rough life and fucked up a lot and he died and so fucked up to the point where it's like I couldn't have him drag me down with him I just couldn't it was too dangerous for me to remain his friend and I tried for years and years but uh I would if I could I would want to forgive him definitely um so there's that wow there you go <laughs> we bang that out about the, the, vice versa, <laughs> the vice versa the vice versa uh forgive me I guess and I always, I was such a weird little girl, but I feel bad. My uncle Pete, he was a real old guy. Mm. And I have one the of those last two, time, Pete. yeah, <laughs> the last time he's my great uncle. And the last time I saw him, I was a little bratty girl. And I would, I was cr crying and crying because everything in his fucking house was old. I didn't want to eat the food. I didn't want to fucking use his utensils. And like, okay, I was six, right? But I know I fucking hurt his feelings and mm. there's no way I can go back and there's no way I can be like hey I'm an adult now I, I understand that I was being a fucking stupid brat like so yeah, I, got, <laughs> I hope I got one a day moment he like can... that with my grandma yeah. he's gone now but yeah I'm like Aww. fuck you know <laughs> yeah it's like fuck why was I such an asshole yeah she she died uh, literally the the year we're leaving to here which I think Aww. retrospectively everybody thought it was a blessing because I was like we were gonna leave and she's just going to be in New York by herself. Oh, hell, that's and rough. And she's like, yeah, like upper eight. And she's not like she hadn't been in here, but she's getting older and it was getting worse, like with the memory and stuff, you know? So, Dimension shit. Yeah, that's one of the things. I still remember the last time I talked to her on the phone. Like, and she used to always say like, hello, like, you know, and I'm super young, 18-ish. And uh, I just give the phone to my mom like normal, you know, like the phone, her landlines, right? But I mean, <laughs> yeah, you not, not this cell phone mom, shit. Grandma. Yeah. The phone, mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so I mean, like, I give it to her because you just take it for granted, like, grandma, you know, like, hey, grandma's and, calling you in. And, and that's it. So I don't get to talk to her again. Time? Next time I see her is on beds and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, What is three? Where you see yourself three years from now? 
shit, man, I don't know, fucking <laughs> dead. Like <laughs> <In> <laughs> probably <depth? Did> <laughs> probability wise dead. But <laughs> Oh dead. I thought you said in depth. I was like, that sucks. That's no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like if, in all probability dead uh, where I want to see myself in three years, uh possibly. Let's I don't go know. With that one. Let's go <laughs> with that. that one's way <laughs> better. Like logically, you know, or <laughs> in my own head. Um I would want to see myself maybe like purchasing a house and like mm. being, you know, uh, what, whatever I'm doing, being my own boss. Mm. I respect that. The last one. My friend, I don't keep in the, we're not, we're never like close or nothing, but like I sold, I sold her this, the, uh, the one I upgraded this cause I needed it for, uh, cause I did rivers once, you know? Oh and yeah, that one's uh, my audio sucked because I was using the old stuff and it's kind of built for two people and I had to use some stuff that wasn't so great. But I was like, all right, I need stuff with more input, so I sold her this. But um, we meet again and, and I was like, yeah, I'm kind of different. And she was like, yeah, man, you're like a super different person compared to last time. Like that, how? That, that just well, one, I'm talking <laughs> like, like I'm just, just like like I'm, I'm my whole mind has flipped like uh in terms of like what I want in life and like ability to talk to people like i've always are you an introvert i think uh that guy i mentioned before like joss i remember he said hell no you ain't no introvert <laughs> like but i think that's because they know me now i think if you know like i think i definitely started as that but who knows was i really an introvert or was i just scared and shy or maybe you're you know? still an introvert and that's why you're in control of this situation and not mm, vice versa you're not ours. going on podcasts you're doing the podcast yeah so. but, no actually i did so i was in denver i uh -huh. went on gay brunch podcast hey hey oh. maybe you could have Abby on, her, on here and then you could go on abby's and podcast they, they came on yeah they came on mine the nice. same day gay, gay brunch um i was it was first time in denver um the podcast is hosted at a dispensary. Nice. Um, Already liking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> so, um, obviously, they're gay, right? And we're doing it at brunch time. Obviously. But no, I found interesting. I only say that because they I come on on the same day where they're interviewing, and I got to be a part of it, too. I asked them one, maybe two questions. But I think one, definitely. But uh, a guy running for secretary of state. And I was like, in my head, like, damn, government is different here. The guy running for Secretary of State needs to come on the gay podcast that's you hosted. You gotta get all your key wait, demographics, wait, man. That's hosted in a dispensary. And I was like, that is not happening in Texas. It will be. Texas is one a, day. No, but, in the very near future, invest in fucking marijuana. But I mean, like, I just was like, that threw me for a trip. I was like, this is amazing. Like, the, the guy who's not, I wanna be in government. It's Please, the future, gay man. weed people, help me. No, because if you think about it, no, I was, I'm like, that's yeah, great. Those are the but voters I, now. People yeah. are voting because they want to keep their yeah. fucking rights and they want to get their rights. But I mean, just being here for so long that I was like, yo, this is twisted. Texas this is, is its twisted. own fucking, yeah. own fucking country, honey. The fucking Republic of Texas. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, 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 I can't believe this exists. Like, this is the stuff people this talk is the about. World. Yeah, to like the world. this is the, like Denver being Denver. Denver was one of my weirdest trips because uh normally like right now who i am i'm more like i told you like i want for the two weeks but i just ended up going for two months hey that's a, i'm more like, be like that. that but i think like um and i we probably have the conversation around this time the last one on, on the facebook chat mm -hmm. I, um yeah so i was just like my mom was just crumbling so i think denver was more like uh just don't be here for a week you know <laughs> like yeah, that's exactly i what didn't I was even explore denver halt. i just stayed there yeah i just stayed there I, outside of two shows i went to in the first night first two nights i just kind of just stayed in that dude's and we just walk around downtown because he's in the middle of Denver. like i didn't explore denver i didn't see shit you Either know Red Rocks. Like, yeah i still need to go back you know to actually do Denver because it was more about just like like reset button yeah no you know? and like, that's, like, that's the whole important thing is that like when you're in a rut whether it's in your life in the place you live in a fucking you know coding in a song stop and change your fucking scenery even for a little while or yeah, as yeah. long as you need to because it's super important and yeah, i guess helps. you realize that yeah yeah yeah. because now i'm like okay now i got more energy to do this shit again you know the fight right, the battle or right, whatever it is totally again. go trip on some mushrooms or some shit there you go <laughs> <laughs>
But yeah, no, I'd be down to do our podcast and vice versa. Yeah, me. yeah, I'll, have, I'll see, I'll see. I told her, I was like, hey, dude, just come and start yelling at the window because I have the window open. I was oh, like, just come go. start yelling, dude. Like, come in here because she's a comedian. So yeah. I was like, that'd be funny, right? Uh, like, just add the third like, mic. Boom. Thank you for not doing that. <laughs> um, What is the perfect day? Perfect day. Oh, shit. I don't know if I could say this on a fucking podcast. Well, like. It's up to you. I mean, I don't care. Let's see. Um, Unless it's some horrible day. shit, like First, you're, you're killing no kids work. or something. Second. <laughs> like. uh, fucking wake up, go to brunch, have sex, <laughs> uh, smoke something. <laughs> just something. Just anything. Uh, you know, it's just smoke. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Go to a fucking horror movie and then go to a punk show. Mm. And then go to karaoke afterwards. There you go. And then fucking go have an after party at your house and I ain't telling you what happened there. Mm. My friend, um, I feel like you, you did it quicker, but I had like two people give me their days like that. But I think the worst slash best one was uh, my friend who he gave me his day similar to yours, but he was like 7 a.m. We do this. <laughs> You're like, oh, Seventh fuck. I got to cut the out all this other content. Thing. This, <laughs> this is going to be the whole show. I was like, that's amazing that you did this time base. Like, I mean, I could have done that, but it's not <laughs> practical. It's impractical. It's not it was, nice. But at the same time, I thought it was it's, it's, from that perspective of talking about manifest. I'm like, this motherfucker has that shit planned. I mean, I yeah, like, I could do that, but I think I'd be getting in a little too much detail. About that. I thought the whole sex and smoke thing was a little... <laughs> a lot of people say that, but I mean, like, I just never had nobody give me like their daily, their daily schedule. Seven a.m. <laughs> like, begin fellatio. Yeah, seven like, fifteen a.m. Rim job. <laughs> it went on for a minute. It was one of the longer ones. I could probably make like a couple of like two or three Instagram posts. I'm just that guy. Eight thirty. Put on furry costumes. <laughs> like, hey, do what you like. You know, you do what you Dude, like. Dude, and like somebody last night was like posting. And they were talking about the snow, and and I thought they said, "I'm in Austin, and there's a bunch of furries, yay!" And then I looked, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, flurries!" Because I like, I was like, I put like a shocked face, and I was like, "Whoa, bro!" Like yeah, on yeah, the comments, yeah. and then I was like, "Oh, I thought this said furries." Like, <laughs> you said flurries. There you go. I mean, to be fair, like we live in Texas, you're not. There's no reason for you to ever it's believe the that the word is Republic of Austin. <laughs> no, I'm just that's true, right? <laughs> but I mean, there's no reason to ever in your mind think that it meant flurries because when does it mean flurries it's called fucking snow bro (laughs) yeah like that was like that was that was weird like yeah i posted like what is this shit on my car i was so mad i never had because i never drove in new york because you don't have to you know like no i only got my, I would probably never have my license. The only reason I have a license is because I live here. You need a driver's license yeah. no matter where you are. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. But like, dude, you just get so spoiled by the, I guess, Public trains and buses. Public transit is great. When it works like that? Yeah. It's the only city I've ever been in where I pull out my GPS and like I look at the car one and the car one says like 30 minutes. Eight million. Yeah, and, but the subway one was 15. I was like, yep. this is amazing. This Absolutely. is amazing. <laughs> that was Fucking in Manhattan. A. But um, oh, here's a question that I think you're not going to like. Because oh. I've never come up with proper wording for it. Um, I'll help you. I can help there you. There you go. Let's do it. Uh, where does the the will to carry on come from? Does it come from within a higher power or what? Faith? Some shit like that? Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Second time I cleared my throat. I'm doing good. Mm. And considering I almost fucking died of hypothermia yesterday. <laughs> um, I like woke up yesterday and like I could not warm up. I, I had called into work because I literally was shivering for two and a half hours. I was like, what is wrong with me? I am really sick. Mm. Then fuck, it fucking starts snowing and I'm like, fucking I almost died of exposure <laughs> downstairs. Why didn't anybody turn, <laughs> turn on the heater? Like, what the fuck? Like, well, the couch is leather too, so it sucks all the heat out of your body. But I was like, yeah, yeah. I never felt like that in my whole life. Well, except for when I filled my ski mask up with snow and then put it on. Damn. That was, oh, I did not know about snow. And now I know <laughs> that I go. fucking hate it. But um, <laughs> anyways, will to carry on when it's not snowing. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> will to carry on, I guess. Um, that's a good no. You worded it perfectly. I totally get you on that. It's evolved, though. Let me tell you. Good. That used to be it's a great. tough question. <laughs> like, like, no, um, like, I would like, definitely say it's it's a combination. Maybe, uh, and this is probably being raised Catholic, even though I'm not necessarily catholic anymore but guilt like oh man (laughs) like living up to people other people's expectations like uh, to be a functional person like uh (laughs) instead of just giving up um and then yeah faith spirituality uh i'm not necessarily a specifically spiritual person but just 
uh, getting that in my later life. Um, and I'm not like Christian or anything like that. I'm a little bit more alternative with that, <clears throat> but I'm into stuff like yoga, chakras, shit like that. I know nobody mm. wants to hear about that shit, but anyway, uh, it's definitely a combination of both and kind of like almost like a realization that, uh, you know, that I am above all the bullshit and that the bullshit matters, but I also equally do not matter. Mm. So to not just focus on that and just keep going. Cause it's like, you only have, you could kill yourself. You could become homeless and die on the streets. You could, maybe somebody will marry you and take care of you for the rest of your life, but <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I, but I mean, you know, I've really always have... joked as, at that. Like, man, I'd love to, to That'd be get great. this Ritz girl, uh, but at the same time, hello, like. my name's Sarah. I like long watches and walks on the beach. And But I mean, like, like, I wonder like, you know, would I really want that, you know? It, <laughs> I mean, I think the whole thing for me, the only appeal to that would be to have like a, uh, uh, like a income that yeah, never worry about finance. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's but not part of me wonders like what I really want like that. Yeah. I it, probably not. Yeah. But, um, anyways, you don't really have a fucking option at the end of the day. Yeah. So that, I guess <laughs> one way. Um, it's the last one, but it's like a three parter. Oh fuck. It's called. I like, I wish I wonder. I like that. I did. I wish I had done. I wonder what would have happened if, Okay, <clears throat> I like that I have uh, survived a lot of situations where I could have been killed or died. Mm. <laughs> like literally life or death situations. I'm not going to get into it, but there you go. Uh, what was the next one? <clears throat> Here I go. I wish I had done. I wish I had maybe had a baby earlier. Mm. If I ever have one. I don't know. Babies are super cute now. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea. I didn't Satan spawn or some shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what was the last one? I wonder what would have happened if. I wonder what would have happened if I would have moved to Austin when I came back mm. from my divorce with my fucking cool ass. Uh, don't see your very often best friend who's a comedian now, Kat Ramzinski. Shout out to her because she's badass. Mm. I love her to death. Journey would have been different. Same thing, like I've had my chances to go to Austin and I never did it. Just because it was so close, like it felt like it wouldn't be different enough, you know? No, literally, like, and my dad, my dad was like, you're like, well, because I had a shitty fucking, like, my divorce was like, oh, fuck, like, I gotta go. Like, yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. Like, this is really bad. <laughs> like, I'm gonna die if I stay here. And anyways, I come back and like they're fucking helping me clean up the mess of my fucking life. And I'm only fucking like 20 years old. And I'm like, oh, my friend needs a roommate, my best friend in the whole world. And it's in Austin. And my dad was like, no. And I was like, well, all right. Well, fucking. And then I should have just been like, fuck you. And like, I, had that, I had that with uh, I remember when I, I was like, yo, man, I want to take music in school. And my mom, you know, put in that thought in my head of like, how you going to make money like that? And instead of like doing it, you know, like. Uh, I didn't. I got a finance degree that I still don't really fuck with to this day. But uh, you know, I wasn't I that, know that I wasn't you. that person yet. You know what I mean? Like, cause now I now I tell her this all the time. Like, she suggests all these things, and I'm like, you know, calmly, I'm like, no, I don't say, you know, no, I don't say you. fuck you or nothing crazy like that. But I, I mean, mean, like, when I, I say know fuck you, fuck you, it's like very affectionate. When I say go fuck yourself, that's what I mean. That, that's, well, <laughs> that was the intro on a podcast. Fuck you out of love, you know? Yeah, no, fuck I you. said fuck you. It's like, fuck <laughs> like, you. But go fuck like, yourself. That yeah, Eat shit and die. But you know? I, mean, I mean, like, uh, but yeah, like, I didn't have that mental will and, you know, to uh, just do what I want, you know, back then. Or, uh, yeah. I mean, I sort of have more of it. I at least have more now than I don't know if I have all of it yet because maybe I'd be doing it already. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, anything could have happened. But yeah, for sure. Like I said, I don't like to dwell on those things, but that is for the sure, one for sure. The one thing that I think that it could have been fun. It could have been way different. Would have it would it have been better? Who knows? Yeah, you don't know. I don't fucking know. Yeah, usually right now, like the person's the artist, we have like plugs, but you probably, do you have any plugs? Do you care? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't not, give right? a shit. That's my plug. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, I was going to say last words, but that also sounds like it could Those be Those are also last my words. last words. I don't give a <laughs> shit, but I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. All right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't care, but please, everybody stay safe. That's yeah. <laughs>
All right, man. That's it. Thanks for doing it. Rock and roll. There you go. Bake that chicken. Smoke that turkey. Boosh. <laughs> yep.